are following some breaking news at five on those shocking electric bills many of us received at home. State regulators putting the brakes on electric rate hikes at Eversource while protesters go right outside of the company to make their voices heard. Fox 61's Brian Didlake has more from Berlin. Only a few people remain after many people were out here earlier protesting Eversource after seeing high utility bills. And we did get a chance to speak to Eversource, who says the problem people are seeing within their bills is easier to fix than most people think. People gather in front of Eversource's Connecticut headquarters to say enough is enough. Right now it's just too crazy. It's too hot. Nobody's working. There's no money. There's so much going on. This is really not the right time for any of this. This reaction comes after many say they saw an increase in their utility bill. I understand what a shock that bill was, so we're going to do what we can to make it right. But after pressure from lawmakers and complaints, Pura sent out a statement Friday saying they previously approved a rate hike of nearly 4% at the beginning of July, but now says it's suspended. In the statement, Pura says the intent of the suspension is so the utility regulatory company can re-examine to ensure Eversource not over-collecting revenues in the short term at the expense of ratepayers. It is a very challenging time for our customers, but indeed, they are seeing higher bills. Penny Connor with Eversource says this billing misunderstanding has been the result of a perfect storm. Connor says with COVID-19, many people have been left indoors, increasing energy usage from air conditioning to increase TV and computer usage. But more importantly, Connor says the weather. So June bills as opposed to May, and that's the bills customers have been receiving. There was a 36 percent increase from May, and that was largely driven by uh, the 12 degrees higher in June this year as opposed to last year. Lawmakers say they won't take a simple explanation for the increased prices, calling for a bipartisan hearing, but say they will be waiting for Pura to finish their reexamination. Turn to the public and say, we can spend as much as we want and do whatever we want, and you have to pay the rates, and if you're nervous about it, sweat in your house. That's not an answer. But people say even with the rates back down, the energy company needs to remember it serves the people and not its pockets. Have a heart. That's it. Have a heart. A little compassion goes a long way. And just in from Attorney General William Tong, who spoke with my colleague Dave Puglisi, Attorney General Tong says that his department is looking into this situation and is trying to set up a hearing with Pura, but at this time Pura has not gotten back to them. We're in Berlin, Brian Ditlake, Fox 61 News. Brian, thanks. Viewers still sending in your bills. Timothy says, I received my Eversource bill and it's doubled since a month ago. My supply was $39.65 to $70.12 and delivery from $63.50 to $114.30 in a month. I don't understand these price increases. This is crazy. Can you please help? Cheryl in Waterbury says, over $600 for a single family home in Waterbury. I am retired. $218 for actual usage is expected, but almost $400 delivery? I am not able to pay this insane bill. They're saying that we are using more electricity. The 218 is not all that high. The delivery? Nope. Well, if you've experienced a high electric bill, we want to hear from you too. Just send us an email at share61 at fox61.com.